Hello everyone, welcome to our midweek chat for Wednesday, April the 29th. And tomorrow, April 30th, is the last day of our current stay-at-home order from the Governor of Florida, and we'll be hearing more news next week about our state reopening. And of course, we will keep you informed about what this means for Venice Presbyterian Church. I want to assure you our elders recognize that we want to do everything we can to keep people safe. Um, we're a large church, so that may mean something different for us. We also have a predominantly older population. So again, we will be um, paying attention to what other churches are doing, but also listening most of all for, for God's will in, in discerning our next steps moving forward. In the meantime, we will continue offering our online worship every Sunday. Thank you for all your encouraging comments. Um, and last Sunday, in addition to the worship services at, at 10 o'clock, we started the uh, Zoom coffee hour beginning at 9.15. And we had a lot of fun um, getting to see each other's faces and uh, being able to talk with one another in that format. The information of how you can join that coffee hour will be sent out with our church email on Friday. I also want to mention that we have our weekly Zoom prayer meetings that we started last week, every Thursday at 12 noon, and attached to this email is the information of how you can join that Zoom prayer meeting tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So we will continue to keep in touch with you, and we're looking forward to just all the creative possibilities of remaining connected, even as we do look forward to when we can come back together again. We hope you're doing well, and of course our prayers go out to all those around our world who continue to suffer with the coronavirus. Um, and I want to mention in that regard that a week from tomorrow, on Thursday, May the 7th, we will be commemorating the National Day of Prayer. Um, this has been a very special day in the life of Venice Presbyterian Church for a number of years. We won't be able to have any in-person events this year, but we are preparing a devotional that will go out that you can watch at any time next Thursday, so be watching for that more information. Also, we will have our Thursday noontime prayer Zoom meeting on that day as well. But I would encourage you to already begin preparing for May the 7th, setting aside time that day to pray for, for God's mercy on us, on this world, um, through this time of coronavirus. Well, one more thing I wanted to do today as part of our midweek chat, and that is the joyful news of introducing you to a member of our team that many of you have not met. Right when all of this was beginning to happen in mid-March, Sherry Loomis moved down from uh, Pennsylvania to join our team as our Director of Administration. Um, she will be a familiar face in the office, and when we get back together, I'm sure most of you will get to see her on Sunday mornings and in the office. And we are already being blessed by all the work she's doing behind the scenes, but we want to take the opportunity this morning on camera to introduce you to Sherry Loomis. And Sherry, we're so glad you are here. And um, those of us who've been working together on the staff and some of the office volunteers have gotten a chance to hear your voice and get to know you a bit. But why don't you introduce yourself a little bit to the church family, a, a little bit about your background. I come with many years of management and administration experience and many years of ministry experience. Um, I have been a part-time youth director for 29 years, so that, and then I have worked in the secular field in administration, office administration, management, and doing things like that. So this is a wonderful melding together of those two um, parts of my life that, that get to come together right now. So um, it's been really uh, interesting starting under these circumstances, <laughs> um, have had um, uh, just a, a real piece about it. Um, you know, you could come into a new place like this and feel the panic of a pandemic, but it has been such a calm assurance of God's presence, um, and it's been phenomenal so far. Um, I have enjoyed meeting those that I have a lot through Zoom meetings, and am wonderfully anxious to get to the place where I get to meet everybody in person. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, well, Again, as you acknowledge, what a, what a strange time mm -hmm. to have to begin. And, and we're just so grateful for your joy 
every day. I know it's hard. Your husband, <laughs> Kevin, is still up in Pennsylvania waiting to retire. Yes, yep, he's retiring after 30 years at the community college. Um, so he's in a really unique transition time, um, leaving behind 30 years of all of his experience and work and stuff like that. Um, and he's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. <laughs> um, and we have three uh, adult children who are all married. We have six grandchildren and they are anxiously waiting to come visit the beautiful weather. They were going to come shortly, but I think they'll put that off maybe when it's snowing in Pennsylvania, they can come enjoy the sun here. <laughs> And I've learned that you're a big Disney fan. Yes, we absolutely love Disney. <laughs> so we're anxious. I was supposed to be there visiting without Kevin, but I have uh, we have family that works for Disney, so we're anxious for them to get back to work and for that to open so we can make some more fun memories there with family and friends. And your family that has worked for Disney, tell us just about how this whole pandemic has impacted them. Um, they are obviously not working. Um, one is on maternity leave, so I'm not sure exactly where her maternity leave has stopped and unemployment has kicked in, if, you know, however that works. Um, one was working in the college program. My nephew Noah was working in the college program, and his brother Jake is a, was a full-time employee who was patiently waiting to get called back so uh, wow. <laughs> so yeah they're all at home one is has the joys of bouncing a baby on her knee so <laughs> the other two are just hanging out <laughs> well may may god you know just a, a, an awareness again of just all the ripple effects of, yeah. of this coronavirus and um, may God provide for yes. each of them during this time and may God continue to provide for you as you are blessing us um, being part of this team and we know you'll enjoy getting to know Sherry um, and welcoming her to the Venice Presbyterian Church family as our director of administration. So we just encourage you where you're at. I know there's cabin fever. I know there's sorrow. I know there's um, just the quarantine fatigue. But find a way today to claim those words that Paul wrote in Philippians, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, present your requests to God. And the peace of God that transcends understanding it will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Until we talk again, bye-bye.